What up, though? It's the kid, Kenny Boy DK, and you tuned in Rap Shit Magazine. Really all started when I was a young nigga, for real, for real. It was like, I won't say it was forced upon me, I was just saying it was like part of my culture. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody in my family rap, you feel me? So I guess it just kind of branched off to me, you know what I'm saying? Apple don't fall too far, you know, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, though, and um, I really just started taking this shit serious. Like at first I used to just rap, just to have fun, you know what I'm saying? Little ciphers with my family and shit, you know? Then it was like, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? I'm all in. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why we're here right now. It really all started with um, this guy I used to go record with, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I bring him up all the time. That's my guy right there. He really made me realize like how different of a sound I had, you know what I'm saying? Like. Cause he just kept asking me like where I'm from. I'm like, nigga, we from the same place. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, damn, why you keep asking? Me? You know what I'm saying? Like every time I come over there, the nigga asks me that. Like real shit though. Hold on. But like real shit though. Like every time I come over there and I record a couple songs with him, I mean like ten tracks. So like imagine going over there back to back, nigga, keep asking the same question. So he finally got to do his head, figure out what my people was, and he's like, oh yeah, all right, bet. And then that's when I'm like, oh yeah, all right, I know I got something. You know what I'm saying? That's a start. You know what I'm saying? I don't sound like nobody because the the song I recorded with him, like it was called One Way. My first song that I written my you know what I'm saying? Like ain't nobody ever wrote my shit for me, but like when I was first taking it serious, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? First started taking it serious. But yeah, so I'm thinking the song whack and shit. You know what I'm saying? But all the time it's really that shit. And these niggas, they feeling that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody can feel it in the room. Yeah, and that's how it really started, and that's why I'm like, well, yeah, all right, I got something, I got to take it serious, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that nigga Future say, <laughs> life's good. <laughs> <laughs> For real, I swear to God, and it's, it, it, it make me feel so good that I'm, taking the right path, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm taking the right path because all the OGs gravitate to my shit. No matter how old you is, you gonna feel this shit. You know what I'm saying? That's just the way it is. I'm gonna keep it a thousand with you. So yeah, and like, yeah, they show me love, for sure, for sure. They tell me what I'm doing wrong, they tell me what I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing right, type shit. And I love, and I love constructive criticism, bro. Like, I love that shit, bro, it's like, I was in the studio with my mans and shit. I ain't gonna put them on Front Street, but I was in the studio with them and shit. And I'm like, bro, you ain't even gotta do that, bro. Just say it like this, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just talk, bro. Your voice already deep. No, he like, bro, that's real shit. And he made me realize, like, oh yeah, all right. You need to start doing that more often. So every time I'm in the studio with a nigga, I tell him, like, bro, nah, man, don't. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I just tell him. So he, oh. that's what really built me. Sound first of all, I don't know. Like, I'm not just gonna say this off the top of my head. I heard this from word of mouth. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna say nothing that's not. No. So, yeah. So like, I I've been on tour and shit like that. So I done been everywhere. I done been to Denver and shit. And like niggas tell me, they always tell me like, bro, you don't sound like you from Michigan. You know, you know what I'm saying? They always ask me where you from. Like, as soon as I get done performing, niggas will run up to me like, not. You know what I'm saying? I don't mm -hmm. know. Exaggeration shit, but niggas, look, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you know, yeah, they be interested. They be like, Where you from? I tell them I'm from uh, Pania. They're like, Where that's at? I be like, By Detroit, man. Because everybody, <laughs> everybody be like Detroit. Everybody calls yeah. me Detroit in this bitch. I'm with niggas from Denver, OKC, yeah. Texas, Cincinnati. You know what I'm saying? It's all mixed up, so everybody's just like, Oh, that's Detroit. You know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, Man, fuck it. I ain't going to explain this shit no more. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is 30 minutes away, man. Big <laughs> I 
love when people ask me this. Shout out to my nigga, the real Marty G. Sitting to the left of me. Show for show. Cause every time I'm on a song with him, it's like, I don't know. It's just like you put me in that mode. And plus that's blood. So yeah, everything, it just be like, you know, it just be like fucking organic. You know what I'm saying? Like that sound, that shit just like untouched. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing else like it. You won't never hear nothing else like it. So yeah, and my favorite songs, if you gonna ask me that outside today, War With Us, and Flying Down the K, mm -hmm. featuring the real Marty G. Mm, that shit love me, bro. I love the feeling. It's just like, I don't see nobody bobbing their heads. I don't see nobody waving their hands. You wanna know why? Cause everybody too busy trying to listen to what the fuck I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like everything <coughs> stop. It's just like it pause. I can't really explain it. Like you might think I'm high or something, but no, nah, nigga. It's just yeah. like, nigga, yeah. It's just like I can tell they feel it, bro. I can tell they feel it. Oh, dope. Now, you, obviously, you come from the music family, man. Talk about the music family and, and, and what that was like growing up around that. How did that inspire you coming around so many of your family being artists? Yeah, um, it was just like, at first, I ain't paying no attention to it. It was just like normal. You know what I'm saying? Just like fucking riding a bike. It was normal. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like. I don't know. You just like gravitate to it, just like if you don't smoke weed. Somebody around you come around smoking constantly, around you smoking, you gonna wanna hit that shit. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. Under the radar. It's just like a meaning for me. You know what I'm saying? Cause like mm -hmm. I never like, I never, you know what I'm saying? I never fit in, I stand out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I wasn't one of them niggas that's just around you just cause you cool. Mm -hmm. I gotta know you, you, you know, I gotta grow up with you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Type shit. So it's just like, um, oh man, what's the question again? <laughs> <laughs> no, not, Under the radar, the project. Under the radar, the, project. the meaning, yeah, the meaning, bro. So it's just like, I was always just like, it's just like that circle. I'm always with that tight circle. You feel me? I ain't never loose with it. I ain't fucking with no niggas if I don't know you. So it's just like under the radar. I'm low key. I'm the underdog. You know what I'm saying? A lot of different meanings. You know what I'm saying? In yeah. that route. I'm a fucking underdog, bro. Cause it's like they wasn't paying attention at first. And now I see niggas opening their eyes. You know what I'm saying? I swear to God, niggas was Ray Charles to the shit, bro. <laughs> Say, I, I ain't, they ain't expect this shit. I swear to God. Dope, dope. So, we're under the radar. Is that, that's not your first, is it your very first project? Or is this the, it was the debut project? The debut, yeah. Cause debut, I had debut. just signed, I had just signed my own little distribution deal. If you know your shit, then you know what that is. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, I had just signed my distribution deal, and it was like, I, I was dropping singles, and I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna hit with the tape. Yeah, and then I then had the meaning, this something I always been wanting to do, rather the deal came and not, however it went, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's just like, the name, that, 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 that stuck with me a long way, for years, like, and I just wanted to drop a project with that name. For sure, for sure, because I know I'm the only one with that name. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody be copying off niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize what sound I had. I didn't know how people was gonna gravitate to it. I know my family so supportive of me, they gonna tell me that shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They gonna tell me it's hard regardless of what the fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? But as far as the people, you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't know what reaction I was gonna get from them. You know what I'm saying? I love it, cause like before it even dropped, I was performing this shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can go look it up on YouTube, The World. You know what I'm saying? Go look up The World. And um, I was performing it and shit, and I just knew that bitch was gonna be a hit. Business side, the business. Not just going in and recording. 
business or a how to market is yourself. Sure, sure. Definitely. Marketing is definitely. marketing is hella important. I don't think I think people sleep on that. Yeah. Like they a do, lot. Because like, they don't know. They don't know. True. You know what I'm saying? So you can't fault them for that because I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I'm just dropping shit on YouTube at a point of time. Mm -hmm. Getting the beats off YouTube, not paying for it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's where a lot of niggas fuck up. Pay for your beats, man. I don't give a fuck where you hear that nigga. Go pay for the beats, man. You gonna love that shit in the long run. Especially when you go on. Um, when you go register that motherfucker for five years, ten years now. Especially if you pushing it. Don't ever stop pushing your songs either. Like, the shit ain't never over with. The um, marketing and promotion, that shit ain't never over with. Keep sharing that shit. And not only sharing it, nigga, put money behind it. So, yeah, ads and shit. Signing my deal and dropping my tape. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking cap. I didn't, boy, I didn't feel like I didn't want to fucking lie to you. Like, a lot of people ain't gonna celebrate you how you gonna celebrate you. So, yeah, I took my shit to the extreme and I still is, nigga. <laughs> I feel like I'm too big for some shit. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't feel like that about yourself, then boo hoo, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Some people ain't look at it like how I looked at it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, damn, that's a big ass step for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know nobody who had a fucking distribution deal besides my mom. My mom used to rap and do all that, but I don't know nobody my age. Shit, so I feel like that was big for me. A lot of people ain't celebrating how I did, though. Like I said, though, <laughs> I took that shit to the extreme. <laughs> okay. Say it, man, on all platforms, fucking YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, or uh, Deezer, I can name, nigga, every platform, <laughs> every platform, everything, SoundCloud, all that, Kenny Boy DK on uh, Facebook, I, don't, I ain't tap into Twitter like that, I downloaded a couple times, but I ain't, I wasn't fucking with it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, but, yeah, so, I got Instagram and Snapchat, on Instagram, it's at don't kill yeah, nigga. <laughs> but uh, on uh, Snapchat, it's Kenny Boy DK. Uh, take the ease off, though. Like I said, doing this motherfucking Kenny Boy DK and fucking rap shit magazine, nigga. Go tap in, nigga, for real.